Okay, can we start the quest? Or do I still have to wait? We're coming. Alright, coming! Now we're on the other side of here. Yeah. Uh, nah. <laughs> hey, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Uh, what? Ah, oh, perfect. You're all here. There's an important commission I need your help with. Oh god, the voice actor sounds really off. Like it, the audio's. I don't know. All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? Oh, well, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a team urgent and their wares from Chowu Village to Biwa Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with you. Only a very special person can do it. Sure, sure. Uh, what's, uh, what's this merchant's address? address? Well, here. here. Uh, uh, okay. Is it one of his relatives? And he's trying to avoid it? It's one of his relatives. Oh god, I've chosen to change the time. Why the effects? It, it's one of his relatives, isn't it? Um, of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. Okay, but the fact that Gaming is reacting to that, I'm like. Mm. <laughs> Alright, um, don't, don't work too hard now, Long Jim. Okay. The Glade returns to the pavilion. Part 3. Yeah. Hello. You must be the team right from heading to the UA Harbor. <laughs> Yip talk. He's got monocle. Monocle person. Dad. Dad. Ooh. I, I somehow knew it. Like, the fact that he's responding in that way he knows who it is and he respond it is his relative <sighs> oh so you're Gami's father it's nice to meet you just leave this delivery to him trust Paimon he's got this in the bag Gami is super good trust Paimon he's got this in the bag wait what everyone at the secure transport agency says as much even the ministry of civil affairs has nothing but good things to say about him uh, Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself, at least. You don't sound impressed, even though you're Canadian. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh God. Also, we get a lot of those family problems up here. Like, it's one thing to look at Canada as its own thing, but we still get, like, similar family problems to whatever's going on in the States. The, the goods are all in order? I don't want to talk. Just give me the box, and let me go. Bye. Yes, yes. <laughs> They're all here. Then let's, let's get going. Get going. Uh, a very important client has asked for you by name. I doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just, just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. Uh, it's one thing. I don't think they care about the business. I don't care. I don't think they care about the money. They... There's stuff going on between Gaming and his father. So that's, that's a whole other thing. But, uh, yeah. I see. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to. Get going and move it. Because I had to turn a setting off on my mixer. This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Why can't you just teleport? Like everybody else! Huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? No, he's a loner. He doesn't want to talk to his dad. He hates his dad. He's like Tetis from Final Fantasy VIII X. I'll keep watch. Oh, but... He hates his dad. Just let him go. <sighs> let me be an anime game character for a okay. second. We'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... What? Halt! Who goes there? It appears that one's movements were overly conspicuous. Moon Carver? Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter Mountain at hand. Shaper. Present your exquisite ornaments at once. Present He's carrying a sword. How is that anything other than an ornament? Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Okay. Uh, what do we do? 
It seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, coming. It's too dangerous. No, you're fighting gods. D does he actually know? <laughs> this is what I do. I fight people. Okay. A thorny foe indeed. Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. Was that seriously like? I don't know. Like I thought, Mountain Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper, or whoever the hell. I don't know. I got the names wrong. Were they just doing that? Uh -uh. Don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. Oscar nominated acting. And the Oscar goes to. Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper. A thorny foe indeed. Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. Away. Let us away. Is that seriously a cartoony Coming. way to run away? Coming. Don't worry. He's a great fighter. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. But coming, I... I have other expectations for Sun. If he had just stayed by my side and learned the family trait, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. What if the family trade sometimes does get in uh, dangerous situations? Are you going to be able to uphold that? No, I didn't think so. It's one thing to be disappointed in him, but you know what? You're disappointed in yourself for not following up to him. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here in case there are other bandits in the... Run. Run away! All is going to plan. Uh huh. To let Gaming be a hero. Okay, we should be good to stop here. Unless somebody else comes out and fights us. Oh no, what is he doing here? Shangli. Flying a kite. A ghost Good kite? Sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Zhongli will have to say about this. <clears throat> Bandits? Acting in broad daylight? I will dispatch them at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why does it sound like you're talking to your parents as well? I don't know. Maybe everybody's parents are stuck in a goddamn bubble. Ah, uh, I see. Yes! <laughs> I, I feel like Zhongli is having a John Tron moment. Where he's like, I get it! And then he secretly says to himself, I don't get it. It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Ah. Uh. You must have figured it out by now as you're replaying dumb on purpose. If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. The guard that was escorting us is already on the tail. Um, well, if that's the case, such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. Even though Zhang Li is playing dumb, he's kind of putting the logic game on uh, Yip Tok. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Ordinary people like us got involved it would only cause more trouble. Mm. Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm. That would be lovely. I really think this game is taking a whole like it's time to burst your butt your parents' expectations out of the bubble. Oh god. Sonic Run! All the way down here. So, uh, Uncle Ip does have a reason to be worried. Also, the Lizard. Gaming, the guard we mentioned is. Gaming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been. Oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. 
And his father was like, no, must believe son good in trade. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyue Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. We don't understand, but we like. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. So, long story short, learn to like your son. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gaming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. <laughs> to have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Mm-hmm, Uncle Lip. Seems like Sean Lee has decided to skip the formalities. Uh, well, he's a hard worker. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. I... <sighs> Your son okay. is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit... hot-headed. It's understandable okay. to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, Perhaps we could pass it along for you. If you have something to say, leave a message after the beep. No, no. <laughs> it wouldn't be right to ask that of you. Right, because you want to tell him yourself. Professor... This thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. Yeah, because it's not easy for you to talk through been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Uh, there are other ways to support yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the family business. Uh, there are many ways. It Sometimes you gotta consider more options, but this quest is about convincing parents to let up. Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on Wu Xiu dancing. It made me happy. But I was also worried. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Yeah, well, are we really talking about gumming? Or are we really talking about you? Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. I often regret introducing him to wushou dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. Hmm. Well, he kind of liked it in the first place. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle E. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. Yet you speak with such wisdom. <laughs> Perhaps I have misjudged your age. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Mm. He's old as... Yeah, how old is he again? Let me double check. Um, Zhongli age... Uh, Genshin Impact, uh, true age if never specified, it said that Morax is over 6,000 years old. Your God, 6,000 years old! As you hope the geography of Liwei over 6,000 years old is a vague number, but somehow confirms that anywhere below 6,000... Dear God, he's like 6,000 years. Oh God, he's 6,000 years. Oh God. He's seen things. He has seen things. He knows things. <laughs> Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. Mm. She's more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Mm. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Ipta. 
you dark. Sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> <laughs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. Mm. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it seems I was too stuck in my ways. Yes. You need not reproach mm, your heart chocolate. for care. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gami to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. Why not go you for a walk? What surprises could be in store. <laughs> the blink of an eye, you say. Do things change so quickly? Yes. Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. Sean Lee certainly has a way with words. Pretty much. And it all worked out in the end. Oh, Gamin is back! Hey, Gamin, we're over here! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhong Li from the Longsheng Funeral Parlor? <laughs> A fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying yeah. some pleasant conversation. Uh, well, well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, <laughs> Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, he doesn't uh, okay. he doesn't like uh, the idea of not being involved. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? Mm. Uh, <laughs> uh, so... Can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. <laughs> but how did you know? At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. He knows. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and Liyue at Harbor anytime. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? Mm. I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me? Yes! <sighs> I appreciate it, I, I really do, but this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Even if those two were real bandits, and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. You've seen the way he talks to me. Yeah. It, your dad still has to open up. It's not like that at all. Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him, and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> you don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but And you? He won't talk to me. Well, you talk to uh, him? <sighs> yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Because, like, again, it goes right back to his dad's expectation. Because his dad kind of needs to let up. Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Listen to us. It's <clears> time <throat> to put these people's skills to good use. Good luck. You can make <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhang Li. I'm impressed. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. Yes, considering the fact that Zhang Li has 
6,000 years of experience. I'm pretty sure he knows a thing or two. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? <laughs> okay. Ip Doc and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. Well said. Gumming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Ahem. I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdoc, but I... Unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. Yes, I was taking a minute to fly a kite while while I was expecting you to come here. <laughs> oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find the time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. So... That's where the dim sum came from. It would be an honor. We'll see you all, Zhongli. You two have a nice chat, all right? Hmm. <laughs> Are they finally gonna work things out? Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. You're old. You're old. You know almost everything. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> you never change, do you? Ah, uh, he's old. If he does change, that'd be a whole other experience. Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? A friend approaches. Hello. Ooh, Xiao. I've been here the whole time. Ah! Uh. A ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? What? So the ghostly kite was a thing between Zhao and Zhongli? What is she doing here? Uh, I suppose it matters not. Hmm. Uh, it's you! I thought you were Director Who. Mm. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just... He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. In truth, Who's I'm here because Director Who dispatched me to purchase some items By the way, in preparation she's for the owner of the funeral parlor, so Zhang Li works for her. Wait, how old is she? um Hu Tao? I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. <sighs> Am I wrong? Or has uh, she once Hu again like sent you out to buy? And it, she's Zhang Li's boss. While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for lantern rice. Mm -hmm. yeah, a sure. recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. I've only met Director Hu a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many okay. hands make light work. Uh, Perhaps she gave you could Zhongli test out the other kite for me? A 20-year-old gave a 6,000-plus-year-old a job. All right. I have made <sighs> my comparisons. Uh -huh. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with- Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Uh, whoever does, whoever's interested, Zhongli, maybe Cloud Retainer, Paimon, the Traveler, well, anybody I else, maybe Gaming. someone of your talent and wisdom. So 
you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Well, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Uh, competition's not the important thing now. Do you like kite flying? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. I don't know. It's all right, I guess. Although, <laughs> the public doesn't know Zhongli is our clapper, so they actually assume he's like 30 or something. Bring me a certain peace of mind. Oh, he's like Edward the Vampire. He remains 18 forever. Some people reach a certain age and they just keep living forever. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. Mm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite shell? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. I somehow already know. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters. When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you want. Okay. Mm. It's getting late. <sighs> I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. Mechanical one better, the end. Okay. How has she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. If you have the okay. time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. We'll keep that in mind. Take okay. care, shall we? See you, See you next. Okay. Bye. And then we switch back to uh. here. <sighs> I don't know how to bring this up, but you're going to have to open up and uh, let me Got do anything. <laughs> uh, They're both on the same page. Well, I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. Okay. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh, I can't say I support that decision. But you gotta accept it. Hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. <sighs> sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? Do we just switch to another set of characters? No need, I'm not tired. Uh... They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. Oh! Oh, God, they're gonna... <sighs> so, I'll have whatever you are having. All right. What are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen Ha doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? <laughs> this moment is awkward as heck. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Sanglo tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. She's not even holding anything, but this sounds like there's a pouring sound. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable step. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Mm. Has work been busy during the holiday season? <sighs> Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, but I deal with them as you taught me. By pinning their heads against the table. Uh? <laughs> Are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen Ha serious right now? <coughs> oh dear. While well, one was busy orchestrating this act, she seems to have forgotten about Shen Ha's various. <clears throat> what. what. Uh, what I meant to ask was Have you made any new oh, friends? Oh god. We live so far from each other. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companion. You already know of my past circumstances. Uh -huh. Recently, I've been conversing with Woba in the kitchen at night. Woba can't talk, but his- <sighs> The poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. <laughs> Damn it! His friends suck! I guess... Maybe Gami is not doing so bad after all. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today? Sh that sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way? If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. No, don't be with... Uh, subordinate. I'm trying to make you think your own thing. <laughs> Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. 
I simply can't coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. Mm -hmm. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. <sighs> But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. Shh. Just think about it. Okay? You don't have- Dad really has changed a lot. But I thank you, Dad. It's okay. been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm a- Nah, they haven't done it, even with uh, Shen Hei and uh, Cloudy Trainer. That's not a good sign. Did Shen Yun's... <sighs> uh, hey, you two. I'm sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, <sighs> uh, let's go. I'll get the backs. Okay. Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? Yes! Alright, time to travel all the back to Lilware. Oh god, and my mouth still hurts. Who? You must be Mr. Ip. Charlotte. Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine... An interview? To advertise? Well, I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers, too. The Fontaine Market. Then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course. Please follow me. Is this person also involved in your plan? Mm. I don't know. And here I thought I had lots of connections. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. Mm. You sure? Over here. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Who? Uh -huh. What? Auntie Shin? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. <laughs> uh, we're trying to convince this dad to just let up. That's basically it. I take it that all is going well? Yes. Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanghai appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. As for the next step... I'm gonna embarrass myself even further. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Because, uh, what? You have to do it? Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly! You want to be able to pay for everything. Investment, as anyone would say. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's gonna bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. It works out both ways. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I'm i already embarrassed from talking to my dad, but if you want to help his business, then okay. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but... I refuse to let you all lose more. Uh, French people like their tea. Right or is that the British? I think that's the British. <laughs> tea talk time. About such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Yes. Yeah. I've been thinking about it. Though I have an idea, but I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Okay. Yeah, we're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Okay. So it's like this. Cause your dad is very close-minded. Let's split up and make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. Oh wait, you're not a captain. Nobody here is a captain. And walk away! 
flying competition. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mech- Fine. Go. Do. Now. Hello again. Hello. Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. What did I do? Deliver stuff? Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. Okay. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. Oh, I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Yes. Okay, take your pick. Oh, yes. We already have a kite. We wanted to buy one of those, um... Ah, yes. Here you go. Um, <sighs> it doesn't feel right for us to just... It. Because it, it, it's why. Well, nor why? would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite. All right, Dad. Take. Oh, crrr, tired. Tired. Do I have to pick a kite? I gotta hey, finish this. It's done. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Mulan reference. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? <laughs> because Disney frickin' made fun of it too much. Chi-Chi, we're almost there! Alright, touching time! A lot of the characters are getting together. <laughs> is there gonna be, uh, is that, like, all the main characters are here? <laughs> Come here, allow me. Psycho drum. Hmm. Is he walking on water? He is pulling a Jesus right now. Already? Ah, I need to load more film. <sighs> oh god, got the frickin' sparrow. <laughs> and we got the Paimon kite.
lantern right. <laughs> happy lantern right. Okay, happy lunar new year. Or if uh, it was a Chinese birthday, Merry Birthday! Finally gonna be convinced, or are you gonna hold on your old ways? Uh, isn't the lantern right? Now, if that's okay. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? Little girl. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of a scene in an anime where some foreigner in a in an anime is like, "Thank you, little girl," and the little girl just gets up. And starts cussing and starts screaming at the guy as she's being dragged or dragged out. No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right over there. So do the leeway one after I try to get started on Fontaine. Hmm. Son. Uh huh. Well, I suppose I'll go first this time. Yes, for once. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wu-show dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. Now he's finally convinced. You're I'll leave along! Are serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Yep. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is... There's no way I can I've complete Inazuma's mirror and Fontaine before the event ends. Much like this kind. You also deserve to soar to new heights. Dad. Son. Son? I haven't heard that in a while. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Uh, because you saw him for who he really was, and it's not just a one-sided thing where you're only caring about what you want. It's not a one-sided discussion. You're kind of opening up and seeing a person, and then, uh, huh, maybe I gotta let this... This person who's my flesh and blood, but blood do whatever they want. Well, and I know Patrick's gonna look at me like I'm saying this to somebody else. And you know what? I might as well say this to somebody else. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, that's everything. Your dad finally looks up to you. <laughs> Seeing the two of them talk things through like this really gives Prime on a sense of accomplishment. Yes! Convincing a parent who's closed minded to finally open it up. Uh, yep, it was all because of you. <laughs> Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you Dad, honestly. Yeah, because I can't stop eating dim sum. <laughs> or them Go. sum. Or whatever sum you like to eat in the dim sum. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, the sum of all matter that is encompassing the food item that you are about to consume. Ugh. Math joke. Okay. What are you gonna do? Take your lion mask. Yeah, it's quite the smile you've got there, Gaming. Yeah, because it for once. <laughs> it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyu. As well as everyone else who's helped me out. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. Okay. The glad returns to the pavilion. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, God. All right.